pastries. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never looked at these uh, chef outfits as a uniform, but I guess it really is. I think so, right? We have Donna here with us, and I'm so excited, Donna. Tell us where you're from and what you're going to make for us today. I'm from the Swiss House Bakery on 19th Street in mm -hmm. Philadelphia here. And uh, we're going to do a different kind of twist on a Mexican wedding cookie using pistachios today. Using pistachios. Absolutely. Let me say something real quick. You've never had a Mexican wedding cookie. I've never been to a Mexican wedding, no. But my <laughs> point is, she is from this, this Swiss house. It was an institution in Philadelphia for years. Mm -hmm. uh, they went dark, and they have new ownership now, and they're really serving a whole lot of people in the center city area yes. right now. So we're happy to have them back. And they also recently served the Dalai Lama. And no we're going to talk about that coming up a little bit later on. But look at those amazing pastries. So we're looking forward to it, Donna. Thank you so much for being here. Low cal, low cholesterol. You can see it right there. Yes. Uh, well, I don't know about that, <laughs> Oh, Terry. look at that strawberry. I don't know about that. Those are those little strawberries with the tuxedos. It is now time to reveal our viewer of the day. All right. I'm so excited. So we're going to check in with her a little bit later on, Johanna. But right now, I'm going to throw things over to Terry Ruggles uh, and a little sweet Well, I, I, have, I love this segment of the show because it has to do with food and creativity, and every chef has a different story now. We have Donna Kanzanese with us, who is, is from the, uh, the Swiss Bakery, which is uh, in Philadelphia. It's one I just referred to. Of They were closed and opened up again with new ownership, and we're so happy to have you back. Thank you very much. Uh, tell me what we're looking at here, other than a whole lot of stuff that really looks good. I see dough. I see powdered sugar. I see, I'm assuming these are pistachios. Yes, they the, are. Because the color here. Pardon me. Absolutely. Now, what are we going to do for us today? Then? Well, what we're going to do is show how, you know, people always think baking is such a science that mm -hmm. they get a little intimidated yeah, by I'm it. I'm one of those. And I never kind of bought into that philosophy okay. because I always felt that you can kind of have fun with it, too. So my twist on our Mexican wedding cookies is that I put pistachios into the cookie batter. All right, before so. we get into that, this is one of the few people who has baked, made something for the Dalai Lama. Of course, he was up in Lehigh, in the Lehigh Valley, for about a week and then came down to Philadelphia, was at the Kimmel Center. Tell us how this evolved. What is it? Did the Dalai Lama call and say, hey, Donna, it's the Dalai. Give us, give us some cookies. What happened? Well, we basically got a phone call from his entourage saying that they wanted to present him a big birthday cake at the Kimmel Center. And uh, our bakery was really the only option that they had because we're just the best in town. There we go. So. All right. Well, good for you. <laughs> did, did, did he get any feedback? Was he pleased? He did. He was. He was pleased. He ate it. He had a good smile on his face. All right. um, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not every day you have a baker who is baked for the Dalai Lama here. Now, let's give this woman a <laughs> round of applause. All right. But. The dolly is gone and Cherry is here. So give me a cookie lesson here. I see some cookies here and I see chocolate here. What are we doing? I do all the chocolates for the strawberries. All That's right. another, uh, another a story, story okay. here. All right. But basically, we have our wedding cookies here, and um, what is what is in this beside the pistachios now? Well, we've got um, just butter. Okay. Some confectioner sugar. Hey, you want me to get out of the way? Do you have to be near sure. here? All right. Yeah, Trading places here. So we're just going to put half a pound of butter in our mixer. All right. Stand back, everyone. Pretty easy recipe here. And uh, we'll just get some confectioner sugar in there as well and make sure it doesn't all right. make a mess all over the place. I don't see egg one here. No eggs in this okay, recipe. OK, good to know, no, good to know. No eggs oh, at all. Cholesterol so people need to worry about that. That's right. Okay. No, no eggs. And then we're just going to get some flour in there as well. And from what I understand, the recipe will be posted on your website after the show. We do everything on the so, website, absolutely. Uh, basically. Now, uh, let me ask, does the butter carry the moisture? I, I see no liquids going into this. Yep, the butter will definitely hold it all together. And a little bit of oil that's released from the nuts. Whether it's walnuts, you can use pecans, pistachios here. Um, and this also looks fairly, uh, fairly fast. Very fast. And, and also, uh, from my standpoint of view, as the guy who has to do the dishes, this is less messy. Yes. Okay, I like right. this. I like this already. You forget the dollar. Nice having that guy You scored the points with the ruggles here. Yeah. <laughs> so after this mixes for a couple minutes, it'll come together and form okay. a solid mass, like we what have we've got here. here. Okay. And then we just take a cookie scoop. Well, let me move my cards here. I won't know what turn. to say <laughs> next time around here. Let me put these over here. We just make a nice scoop out okay. of it. Put it on a baking uh, pan that's lined okay. with parchment paper, which you can find in your local store. A uh, question for you. Uh, parchment paper, or could you spray something, or should you not do that? Uh, you're you're you frowning. You can spray something, but I like using the parchment okay. paper. It keeps the uh, the baking pan nice and clean. Okay. And, uh, 
just works real well. Uh, could we so. also do this with our hands? I mean, you're a professional, so you've got the tools. But if you were a mom with your daughter or son at home and wanted to do this, you could you just do it with can. hands? You just want to make sure they're all basically the same size so they bake evenly. Okay. How long into the oven then? About 10 minutes or so. Okay. Bake them in a, pop them in a 350 oven, 10 to 12 minutes. Simple. And they come out of the oven looking like this. Basically what we do, we always check our cookies underneath mm -hmm. to look at the color of them. Okay. They should be nice and brown. And not dark brown? Nope, not dark okay. brown, light brown. All right. And then after they're cool, you just take a bowl of confectioner sugar, put a couple cookies in, toss it around, shake them off. And that's right. your finished product there. All right, do this just a second. I, this is, I've only been here two days, but I always take something to the audience because I know Very how to nice. suck up to an audience here. <laughs> there you go, one for you, one for you. Go ahead, thank you. All right, all right. <laughs> Don't worry about being messy. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down there. <laughs> thumbs up? All right. All right, you've pleased the Dalai Lama and two people in the NBC10 audience here, so Good this enough. is not bad. Good all right, enough. let's move over here now. What do we... Basically, we just um, we have some strawberries. We like dipping them. We offer mini pastry trays or for the holidays mm -hmm. coming up in a couple months. So we've got some white chocolate and dark chocolate here. And um, and you've done this. You've melted this over water. This is a double boiler system. It is system. a double boiler. Yes. It, it won't work the other way. It just burns the chocolate if you. Yes. Okay. Totally. You you can't get, if you get the chocolate too hot. Hot. It just seizes and it won't work at all. Okay. But one of the another tip that I can give you guys is if you're dipping uh, berries in chocolate is if you dip the berry, you can kind of pull the chocolate off of the bottom of it. And then as it dries, it doesn't sit in a pool okay. of chocolate. It makes a nice... So, so you've got it drier before you get it down to, the, down to the paper, so to speak. Yeah, you're basically pulling all the excess chocolate off. All right, and, if I um, had my eyes shut, could I tell the difference between white and dark chocolate or, or uh, brown chocolate? If you had your eyes shut, meaning by tasting? Yes, yes. I think white chocolate tastes very different than a dark chocolate or a semi-sweet A sweeter chocolate. or? Um, a little creamier, in my opinion. And you have a preference, or is this just uh, artistic? Brand? I like white chocolate. Okay, all right. I like white chocolate. Uh, now, you have yeah. some other things here. I'm assuming that these are from your place also, huh? Yes, we do have some other items here. These are just some of our special items that we feature. We make lovely character cupcakes here, and we know Christmas is... Uh, Pretty far away, but we really do make some cute cupcakes oh, you do for the make holidays. Some cute cupcakes. <laughs> and um, our bakery, we're under new ownership. Mm -hmm. We're now called Swiss House Bakery. Jim Houseman is our owner. Okay. And um, the cake that we're most famous for is our hazelnut cake. If people are familiar with Philadelphia, uh, our bakery. Good show. My grandmother actually used Let, to get this I, cake. One for more us. question I didn't ask about this because we live in an area that produces its own strawberries. Mm -hmm. But I also have chef tells me I would rather use a California berry rather than a Jersey berry. Do you have a preference? Um, it's seasonal. California berries are better um, in the winter because we can't get mm -hmm. fresh berries in Jersey then. Okay. But um, during uh, strawberry season for us in the spring and summer, I like to try to find local berries. All right. Well, listen, so. this is a tough job, but somebody has to do it. But let me get in here right now and just uh, taste the, the white strawberry. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I won't lie to you whether this is any good or not. <laughs> mm. Oh. But I just shot my calorie count for the whole week there. Oh, is that good? Nice job, Don. Thank, Thank you, you very Charlie. much. Nice to meet you. Pardon me for talking with my mouth full, but it's really worth it here. Big round of applause for Donna and the people at Swiss House. I'm going to take another, uh, another bite, and we'll be back. People in the audience are going to get to sample some of these cookies. We'll be back. Don't go away. Very good. But my guess is it's still more fun.